all right so welcome back yes um in this tutorial we're going to first of all we're going to remove the outline here then we are going to work on the navigation menu okay the navigation bar okay a lot of things to be done on it okay let me quickly remove the, all these outline okay so let's go there all right so i will check i'll go to where i added the outline somewhere down here yeah this is it you know we don't need it anymore May, let me comment it out i don't know if we're going to need it in the future let me comment it out anyway okay so we don't have the outline anymore that's good okay then the next thing now is to start working on that navigation let's check the navigation let's see okay we're going to give it uh, the main color okay then we create uh, the, the category section Okay, that means we are going to create a main section this one this first section okay then um this this so three sections or rather let's we are going to create uh do we just create two sections but this card will just an icon okay okay we are going to create two sections section for this one okay and the section that will contain okay yeah two section i think okay Mm, if I create this section, okay, I, I, we are going to create two section for now. Later, we are going to create another section inside this particular one. Let's con let's start. Not really section, but division. Okay, so let's go to navigation section. Then just create a division for category container. So we're going to call it category menu container category menu container you get that awesome mm, inside this category menu container we are now going to add stuff there maybe here now for now we're going to let's check it again let's see this is how it is okay we're going to add icon okay then we'll add category add icon at the end maybe later we'll work on it okay but for now let's leave it the way it is okay now we are going to create another division another division what are we going to call it maybe we can even copy this particular division and use it okay what, what are we going to call it we are going to call it uh, um okay nav icons nav icons container icons container okay so inside it now we are going to create another div for the nav icon just call it uh, nav icons nav icons like this okay mm -hmm. so inside this now we're going to put icons but that's okay let's work on this navigation now let's style the navigation first um so let's go to navigation navigation here okay we still are the top bar this navigation section yeah this is it we're going to add the background color to it okay uh, main color we're going to use the main color for it for it let's shake it so you see we have background color but we have no it has no content yet we've not added any content to it that's why it's like this okay so we are going to add category okay we're going to um yeah we're going to add uh, category here i think it's it's time we add icons it's time we add icons so let's go and get we're going to use font awesome here okay i think let's see if we are going to use a completely different uh, icon for this project let's use a uh, instead of using font are awesome let's use uh, because i've been using font awesome for for most of my project so let's use a uh, google material icon okay let's use google material icon for this one so you learn how to use how to add material google material icon too so let's search uh, material icon google material icon material Celia design, Magilia icons, yeah. Okay. Mm, 
believe this one will do so let's try okay good <clears throat> so you search for uh, and here I'm going I'm not going to get this I like, this search I come quickly let's take this um, so you come here um, before we take this I think uh, we need to add something we need to add this to uh, let me check we need to add this to, uh, to the head section of our page of our academy let me check for a while before I take the one I'm going to add Mm, let me choose this one I'll copy this then you go to go to head section header then you you add this yeah this is Google material uh, this is the link okay then we now go back to the icon we choose this one okay we've chosen one right which one did we choose okay now we can now copy the uh the the design we want to use let's come down th th this is what we are going to copy just copy it okay i believe i copied it right yeah you didn't show me any sign that i copied it but let me just go and paste let's see okay so we're going to go to where we want it to be uh, you know i actually wanted to add this let me let, let's add it and see how, it, how it's going to look um yeah index index <coughs> index uh search okay inside this search yeah this is where it's where i want it to be to be inside this button search button okay so, so what i'm gonna do is this um this will be in the same line okay oh like very good that they are now in the same line just make space here oh, we can even close it later work on it so let's check what what we get here um, do you see that the icon the google material icon is showing just to show you how it is okay but um, this kind of search because uh, it actually expanded this search this search button expanded it so see that will mm. so let me check how I'm going to adjust this do I actually need this search or do I mm. okay let me remove the icon here let me put let me get uh, because this search is okay wait there's no icon no need for this icon okay I'll remove the icon or do you I don't know if you if my students will like this okay <sighs> I'm a kind of confused person right now you know uh, let me check Google icon first again let me see if I will if I will get a, a milder search 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 oh. okay search this one let me see if I get this one, this one, this one. They're almost the same thing. Almost the same thing like this. Same thing. Same thing. Let's remove it. I don't think it's necessary to be here for now. Let's remove it for now. Let's see the way it is. But I will add the phone number, the phone number part. So let me search phone. Mm -hmm. So this is the phone number. Let me choose this one, right? Yeah. Okay. We just come here. You don't need to insert this again because we've got it. Just come here, and get this, get it, and use it. Then go to where phone number is. This is it. Insert it. 
paste it and there just press backspace to move this to the so it will maintain next the same line or maybe because this is lengthy already this is length i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to move this to the next line like this okay this curve will be on the next line maybe this this one like this yes let it be like this okay so let's see how it is now this is how it is awesome i think that's great that's great i like it okay but i'm going to give this icon this color this highlight color okay so let's work on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to maybe add add class to this i will just say phone maybe phone like this or phone icon phone icon <coughs> one icon <clears throat> okay okay then highlight color shop sure. all right <clears throat> that's beautiful so everything we want we've gotten it where we want it and i think top buy is done and i'm proud of what we've got gotten now let's work a bit on this before i stop the tutorial this particular tutorial okay let's work a bit on this eh? nav bar okay yeah so the nav bar now let's check our design again okay i'm going to <coughs> so i'm going to get the menu icon then category i mean then i will type category here then i'll get this icon from Google material icon, right? Let's go there. Mm, menu. Oh, sorry. Just type menu. Mm -mm. Okay. I think this one, this one is okay. Let's use this one. Then you copy it like we've done before now you can just type in menu you can because this is the same thing you are copying you know what you do you should do if you check this now you see that at the center there is menu you have menu here so what we are going to do is that we are going to come here copy this same thing this same stuff here come down come down to nav section um okay here yeah come down to this point paste it here then you change this to menu <coughs> change this to menu then you put here put categories here categories here good mm, I, I think that's great okay but then after this category we um okay if in this category sorry we need to add that there's something we've we almost forgot to add here very important we need to add sections in this category so let's move this one down a bit we add section section because we want to add input not section by form I'm gonna add input so add form maybe you call it form category form right form dot category form. So I want to call it this form it's category form that's what we're going to call because we want to add you know what I'm adding to the form because it's going to be drop down list when you click on it like if you check this okay not this one but if you check this yeah you see how it is so it will be drop down list like this one drop down list okay Mm. okay but is it necessary that i add this mm, i don't think let me not add the form i will still do this let me make it custom if i add that category list it might not look exactly like this so I, i'll better make it custom a custom drop down list you understand that's what i'm gonna do a custom drop down list okay custom drop down list that's what i'm gonna do it so I, I will use drop down list box for it 
what I will do is I will um I will um, create a section. Mm, yeah. Let me, let me change this to div division first div. Okay. Then I will change this to category a content category content something like this. Yeah. So inside this now inside this category content um um let me check this again you know you have to calculate what this this and this okay this category content will contain this one and this one and this one will be at the extreme yes so we have to copy this now we have to copy this this two or rather not copy but drag it inside here okay we create another section another division call it um, um the drop down um what do you call it category okay let me not do anything let me just uh, copy this go go this and paste here yeah mm. for that drop down like for this okay maybe i will convert this to block element so it will serve my purpose okay so i'll go back to google i'll get let me just say drop down i don't know if i if it will if it will get that for me uh, i do not okay let me just drop what drop will get okay i saw something like this but this is not what i need um this one will serve my purpose but i think i need something that looks that look like the other one um what are we gonna call it now I've forgotten what to call what they call that um list no not list um, um, um okay let me just search arrow let me see if i will use arrow to get what i want yeah i got it so this is it here okay uh, that's what i'm looking for chevron chevron left chevron right top bottom you see you see this you can choose any one keyboard arrow drop down this one can also serve i'm even getting confused on what which, which one to use mm. let me use the first one that's okay they are just the same thing they're all the same thing <coughs> okay so you see expand more yeah expand underscore more that's what we're going to you know if, if i want to copy this now you know what i'm not copying this from if i want to copy this it will select all okay and if i copy to copy also I, I better type it in but I, I don't want to be adjusting this each time i copy them okay i'll just type expand more like this expand underscore more yeah yeah then you go back and let's see do you see that i think we got it but we're not going to uh the category okay yeah see what we get yeah we're getting there gradually and i'm looking sweet and i think i think i'm liking it Oof. now let's work on the category section let's work on this uh category container ca menu container yeah let's quickly work on it Oh, I think uh, we're going to continue the next tutorial mm, we're going to continue the next tutorial because it's lengthy already all right thank you so much